dog, I'm a dog, never said that I'm not. I'm a change, I've been saying that for years, but I'm not. What's good, grind schoolers? It's your boy Rob, and we back with another video. Today, we in the shop. Yes, we in the shop today. I love being in the shop because I get to work on my passion, which is these cars. Um, and you know what I'm saying? Like I get to, you know, it's a work of art. It's like my, my art, you know what I mean? I get to <clears throat> put my hands on it, beautify it, make it better, improve it or whatever. And that's exactly what we're gonna do today. So before we get started, go ahead and smack that like button. Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you get a notification every single time we drop another video. But without further ado, let's get into the video, baby. Let's go. All right, so what we're gonna do today is we are installing brand new speakers all the way around. So what I went with is Roxford Fosgate because I've had Roxford Fosgate before as far as subwoofers go, and I was really really pleased i had um a f uh, few p3s um and i was really pleased with the performance out of roxford fosgate so i decided to give it a try i'm going with the whole roxford fosgate setup um so i went with these p1 or r1 roxford fosgates with the tweeters in it um those are the six and a half so i'm going from i think it's like a, a five or a five and a half in the doors now um up to a six and a half so um that's what i did there and then also um i'm going with six by nines obviously that's what's in the back right now but i'm going with some six by nines in the back um that are also r1 roxford fosgate so we're gonna see what it sounds like um we're gonna go ahead and install it it shouldn't be too hard i've done this plenty of times on plenty of different cars before so um it is what it is so let's go ahead and get into it all right so i got the trunk cleaned out as you can see Got my Flowmasters in there. Still my QA1 suspension. Still got to get to that. That's uh, a later date. But I had um, all four of those wheels in there. So um, I finally got that out of there. I got to clean this out still. But what we're going to do is install the 6x9s now. Um, the 6.5 ones, we're going to have to cut the bracket um, that the old one came out of and see if we can fit them in there so we're gonna have to do a little bit of customization but we're gonna knock these ones out and then um, get to the rest of them all right so all you got to do to access it is pull this speaker cover off so I just used a screwdriver and went in uh, the four corners and just kind of jimmied it loose a little bit um, I was real careful to not like break the plastic or break any of the clips so that's all you got to do to access it and then I believe it's just four screws that just screw through the top and you should be able to go ahead and get it out and install the new ones. All right, so I got the speaker out. Um, it's a nine, nine thirty seconds is what I use. It's only four screws, on all four corners of the speaker. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and unplug this, take this one out. Um, put the new one in and hopefully it has a connector just like this and we can just plug and play Let's get it You can see a major difference between the coils on the speakers Huge difference. So these should be a lot better. These are factory. So I mean they're trash So this should sound a lot better a lot better sound quality out of these things. So we're gonna uh, go ahead and throw it in there and um See what it sounds like once we're done. So with this kit, I guess they send you uh, wiring as if you're gonna wire it from the back all the way up to the front. So all I did was cut the ends off um, and then we're gonna go ahead and put this onto the speaker, um, splice it, and then we're gonna hook it up to the old wiring and then solder them together and then that's all we gotta do. All right, so I got my wires already wired up. The big head is negative. The small one is positive. Um, got my heat shrink on here. So now we're gonna solder these together 
he shrink them and this speaker should be good to go and then i'll go ahead and do the other one won't show that process but this job is super duper simple um like i said it's four nine and thirty seconds bolts right here just use a screwdriver to pop this uh speaker cover off um and then wire it up and you don't even have to go in the trunk i thought you had to go in the trunk because some of my other cars i had to but on this impala don't have to um and then um yeah this job this uh six by nines are done and then uh we'll finish up the six and a half and this job will be complete so what i ended up doing for the six and a half inch speakers in the door was i had to order a um a new bracket for the uh for the six and a half inch speakers i was going to try to use the original bracket and just cut it out but that didn't seem like it was going to work so what i did was i used the original hole up at the top and i drilled another hole at the bottom and this thing is in there so you can see the the size difference in the two speakers um this is the original speaker obviously and then this is the the new speaker um yeah so it seems to work just fine i haven't tried to put the door panel back on so hopefully if the door panel fits over it and um that should be good to go um now all i gotta do is i'm gonna use this original connector um to connect to uh the wiring that leads to the radio because i feel like it'll be a little bit more clean so i'm going to um go ahead and connect this to the wires that go into the back of the speaker and um yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and wrap that up i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the other side and then we'll test it and see what it sounds like all right we're gonna go ahead and see what it sounds like and play some music from one of my hums so i don't get copyrighted you know I'm a dog, I'm a dog, never said that I'm not I'm a change, I've been saying that for years, but I'm not If you ever hated on me, then I never forgot Either with me or against me, now let's swear up the lie I lead a whip, man, I think it sounds pretty good for no, no bass on him Yeah, so I think it sounds pretty good for no subwoofers. All right, that's going to be it for this video, y'all. I hope y'all liked it. Um, that's just with the one six and a half in the front. Um, I still got to do the other six and a half on the other side. And then the two six by nines in the back. Um, I don't have any amplifiers. I, the deck literally cost me 30 bucks. Um, I think the speakers all together cost me probably like $89 for the two six and a halves and then the six by nines in the back. I like Rocks for Fosgate because I've had it before. I've never had the, the little speakers. I've had the subwoofers, but um, they sound pretty good so far. Um, and then I think I'm going to probably go with either 312s or 310s in the back. Um, I'm not really sure. Those will be Rocks for Fosgate as well. Um, and then I'll have to get obviously a boost controller or a bass controller um and then also an amplifier for the speakers and the amplifier for the subwoofers uh the system in this car is going to be really really good you know what i mean but um yeah that's just the sound without anything that's just the deck 30 dollar deck and the the speakers and that's it so anyways um that's gonna be it like i said for this video y'all i just wanted to you know install the speakers in the car so it gives it a little bit better of a sound the old speakers were completely trash like completely um so i just wanted to give it a little bit better of a sound this car is what 25 years old so you know what i mean it was definitely overdue but anyways go ahead hit that like button hit that subscribe button you know what I mean? I don't know why y'all not subscribing. I got a lot of people out there that's watching my videos, but nobody's subscribing. Subscribe to the channel, man, because we're going to lay down some lit content, I promise you. Hit that bell notification so you get a notification every single time we drop another video. And always remember, work hard so you can live free.